Maybe we'll just give it a try. Oh, look in the back there. Do you see what I see? Ooh la la. All right. Well, I am here today in Walkersville, Maryland, and I am sitting outside of the Goodwill. We are about to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. These are really cute. These are, um, they're made out of nuts. I forget what kind of nuts they are. Um, you can see there, they are souvenir pieces from Ecuador, but they're cats. I'm going to grab them. I really like those. Also, this is a really cool vintage bottle, but there is a lot of wear on that, and it would have had a stopper that it is missing, so we don't really want to mess with that. Here's a piece of fruit. Looks like I missed this piece of fruit when I was here last week, so I'm going to grab that. Oh, hey, look. Here's a really cute little cat down there. It's got some rust. I love that sculpture. I recently picked up a crab and it sold pretty quickly on knickknacks. So we are gonna grab that. Um, so anything else that is catching my eye? Let's see. Here is another cool sculpture. This is 1249. This is a motorcycle. I can't tell if that's broken or if it's supposed to move like that. I think that's actually really neat. I just don't know if it's complete or not, but I think I'm going to grab that. That's really neat. We will stick that in here. That TV in the back is pretty cool. Let's check the bottom of that. That is C.N. Berman Company Limited. I don't know. I get the impression that's probably not very high resale value. It's a shame this bottle doesn't have a stopper. You know what, I think I'll stick that in here and I will go look in the baggies. I learned my lesson last week when I didn't immediately stick the kangaroo in my cart and I ended up without it. I noticed it wasn't over there anymore, so somebody else must have grabbed it. <laughs> that is a neat glaze. Oh, that is art pottery. I don't recognize that signature though, it's $5.49. There's a little perfume for $4.49 do pretty well with little perfumes even the clear ones so I'm gonna grab that that is jungle spray hand me hand painted in the Philippines <laughs> that is kind of neat I feel like that might have some value what is it five dollars and 49 cents it is contemporary it's a very thin ceramic um, but that might be worth picking up it kind of reminds me of Fitz and Floyd I think it's probably something along those lines that looks like it could be Leray Pastels. Looks like somebody tried to peel the sticker off the bottom to get a better look at it. Oh, it's actually Interstate, Sunrise Wear. I've never actually heard of that. I wonder if that was in competition with Leray. I've never heard of it, so I wouldn't know. There's a little dish there. It kind of reminds me of Costa Boda with that white swirl. I know they make little um, candle holders with that white swirl. It's 99 cents. I might as well pick it up. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. I just don't know. That one doesn't have any sticker indication on it. <laughs> it's kind of going on a hunch. It's very thin. So I don't know. Are those the only two? It looks like it. Maybe we'll just give it a try. Oh, look in the back there. Do you see what I see? Ooh la la. We have some crimped um, glass back here. This is a really nice um, amber compote. I think it might be Fenton. And then this one here. I love that blue. A uh, great pattern. Also with a crimped edge. That is $6.49. You could tell these came from somebody's antique mall booth. A couple of these pieces did because they have that ribbon where they've cut out the original price tag. So both of these pieces and this one all have that ribbon. So <laughs> I, lo I love when people clean out their antique mall booth because it's usually pretty good pieces. There's another one. You could tell that was from somebody's antique booth. But I don't really want that without any cups to go with it. There is a cake plate back here that I noticed that looks like it's King's Crown and I think a King's Crown cake plate could do pretty well so I'm going to pull that out. Yeah that's pretty nice. You can see the flash isn't all that worn on it so for $4.49 we will take that with us. That's kind of vintage isn't it? 
I like it. It's five dollars and forty-nine cents. I don't think I really need it though, so I'm gonna leave it behind. <laughs> I'm trying not to buy artwork. I'm trying really hard. I actually did just buy artwork at the last Goodwill, so it's not really working, but I'm gonna leave that one behind. I have circled back to the figurine aisle and we're gonna take a closer look. Oh, now that I've made it all the way around the store, I just wanna make sure that I didn't miss anything. I took that preliminary look through. <laughs> I always wanna get down low because I have a tendency to miss things on the bottom shelf. Probably because I'm so stinking tall. What are these? These are just coasters. This is kind of cute. $3.49 on that. I thought this was neat, but it's $5.49. I don't see much value there, so I don't really want to mess with it. Alright, let's go check the bags. There are a bunch of polymer clay figures in there. Like somebody actually looked pretty hard on those. A lot of them you can just see their butts. Um, <laughs> this one with full detail. Those are pretty neat. There's no markings on the box though, so I have no idea who made that. I mean, those would be cool for giveaways, I feel like. So maybe I will grab those. $4.49. I feel like somebody put some effort into those, so we'll snatch those up. There is a sake set over here. Made in Japan. Lots of salt and pepper shakers. Um, unfortunately, oh wait, no, this is complete. There's Santa with his packages. His eyes are stickers though, and the stickers are starting to uh, turn yellow, which isn't that fun. I'm really just not into it. Um, I don't believe that. My true mission here is to find a stopper for that bottle I picked up. Like, chances are pretty slim that that's gonna happen. Yeah, unfortunately, there are, well, there don't appear to be any stoppers in these baggies. So, oh well, I might put that back. I don't really want it without a stopper. It's a cool bottle, but uh, it doesn't really do me any good. So this is actually kind of fun. Um, back when I first started buying and reselling, um, I actually fell for this one. So I'll give you a, a little pointer here. Um, this is Reproduction uh, Flow Blue. And uh, here is the mark on the bottom right here. You can actually see this one has the original Made in China sticker, but usually that's gone. It has this really giant marking on the bottom. Um, and I actually bought this before thinking that it was really old and it is not. So it, it's cool. I mean, it's a great decor piece, but it doesn't actually have very much age and it doesn't have very much resale value. So that's something to be mindful of when you're out and about. All right, well, I got down here to dig because I noticed there's a big piece of fused glass um, underneath. Okay, we're gonna scoot some stuff around. Let's grab it. That could be Peggy Carr. Oh, it's really heavy. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. That's a great piece of fused glass. Actually, it's marked on the bottom. It says Fusion Art Glass. It is made in China. But um, I really like that piece. I like that it's a serving dish, so it has the, the spot in the middle. I think we will grab that. Now there's also a really nice dish here that I want to get a closer look at. This is just stacked so precariously. It's actually kind of scary. I'm going to put that one down underneath. Move that one over, and I want to get a closer look at the bottom of this. Oh, please don't fall. Okay. Whew. All right, it's just Max Era. really wasn't worth uh, all that digging. <laughs> okay, please don't fall. All right, now I'm going to walk away. Okay, so I'm creeping over here in the wood, and I noticed this peeking out. I like that. That is just art, and it's not even signed. It was originally $74. Mama and Baby Giraffe for $2.49. That's my jam. I'll take that. Here is a primitive thing. <laughs> you can tell. It's not really my, uh, my thing. But it's a primitive thing. Um, and it's $3.49. And I know that this would sell out of my booth. So I'm going to stick it in here. Alright, well I spotted this sculpture across... 
the way. It's really cute. I think it's probably just some mass-produced sculpture. It's very um, lightweight and kind of cheap feeling, um, but it's $14.49. I thought it was kind of neat. I like the sentiment behind it, but I don't think I'm going to pick it up for $14.49. All right, so I realized that these are all napkin rings. They are polymer clay um, napkin rings. And I'm thinking, do I really want napkin rings? Um, I think they are really cool. I kind of like the detail on them, but I'm kind of having a little bit second. I mean, I don't know. They're for recording. I could sell them as napkin rings. Um, <laughs> they would have been cool to give away as little figurines, but then I'd be like piecing them out and they're a set. And I don't know if I could do that. So um, I'll probably sell them. I kind of really like this Santa. <laughs> He's kind of great. What is that? Shell paint and decorated purposes only. There's really not a whole lot of info on that, but I just think he's fantastic. I wish there was more information to go on. I think I'm going to grab this Santa. I'm willing to store that until next year. Um, let's see what else we've got. There is a blue sky. Heather Goldmink Tea Lighthouse. Now these usually have underplates. I don't know if we'll be able to find the underplate. There's a lot of pieces that could be broken on this, so it's important to check it all over, like the holly, the bird, all those icicles. I'm not really seeming breakage. You guys are probably screaming at me. It's under your hand. Um, there is a break right there on the edge of the house. You know what, this one might not actually be for a tea light because it, there's a little hole there for um, a electric light. I don't know, I'm gonna search around and see if maybe there's an underplate here. I am gonna grab this, maybe. 249, I was gonna say, it's that hard? I thought maybe it plugged in. I don't know, it's pretty rough though, Never mind. changed my mind. Um, let's go this way. I love these. $14.49 each though. I wonder if they're worth that. What are they? Are they for, um, I can't tell if those are for stockings or if they're just decorative. Disney China. Hmm. I may look those up. Um, well, I did look up this, uh, these Choo Choo Poo. That's what these are called. Um, a full set that includes Winnie the Pooh, who is on the engine, sold for $100. So we have 15 and 15. Um, I feel like if that's what the full set sold for, a set of three, it might be worth picking these up for $15 a piece, as long as there's no damage. I'm going to check them over real quick. All right, I think we are good on those. Um, I'm not seeing the underplate for this. Um, I still have one more aisle to go. I think if I can't find it, I'll probably leave it. I'm going to assume that it has an underplate, and then I'm just going to leave it behind. Okay, so here is a listing with the underplate. It sold for $30. Bucks. So... There is supposed to be an underplate, and it's like square with holly on it. I think I'm going to set this back. I just got to find a nice place on the shelf for it since it's really crowded over here. What in the world is this thing? I have no idea. Designed by what? Art Bel Air Country Store. All right, we got to peel that back to see. This says... I still am not going to be able to read that. <laughs> ESC Trading Company, $3.49. Um, it was $31. I think he's great. It's all about Christmas. Oh, I just realized he's damaged there. Oh, that's such a bummer. I really like it. He's like a chubby little guy. Oh, man. Am I willing to forgive that? Hmm. I was actually thinking for myself, and I'm more apt to forgive damage than some of my viewers, but um, I think I'm going to leave him. Okay. Well. I will put our total spend up here in the corner because I don't recall how much I spent. Um, total bummer when I got to the checkout and I had those two train pieces and I looked at the tag and I realized it wasn't $15 a piece. First of all, it was 15 for the set. It was $15 for the set of three and I only had two. Um, so I went back and I searched the shelves again there was no third piece. Um, the third one was the one with the barcode. So what I think happened is somebody found the one and just bought the one and left the other two behind. So the set was already separated. Um, I ended up with Tigger and Eeyore, which is okay. I like Tigger and Eeyore. I'm cool with that. Um, but it's a bummer that I didn't get the whole set. But kind of cool that it was only 
50. And she only charged me half of that since, or not half, she charged me like three quarters. Three, three, yeah. Um, well, anyway, I think I paid like $8 for all two of them. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm probably gonna head on down to the next Goodwill. Um, and I guess I will see you all tomorrow.